Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, glad you're here. Today I'm going to be doing a review. Yeah, a review of the new Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows. So I already have my face done, the foundation, the concealer, the setting powder, everything. All of that is done. I really just wanted to talk to you guys about these new eyeshadows. Well, they're not really new anymore. I actually don't know when they came out. Probably like a month ago. Whatever. But so far, we'll see. I'm going to talk to you about them. Sorry my hair looks like this. Um, I've been inside all day and I kind of want to keep the curls down there or the waves, whatever. Um, I'm doing a no heat year. Trying to. So I've been good this whole month. Now, starting February, I'm tempted to curl my hair at least. So I might break the rules just to curl it, but I'm definitely not straightening my hair because I'm losing my natural texture from dyeing it and straightening and stuff, all that heat damage. So I'm really trying to get my natural curl pattern back. My hair used to be really curly, but whatever. Okay, so let's get started. So I bought two of these online on the Huda Beauty website. Um, I have Bubble Bath and Pink Champagne. Pink Champagne is the glimmery shadow and Bubble Bath is the matte one. Each one comes with a matte and a glitter. That's why it's called matte and metal. Duh. Um, so I have that one and I have the Private Jet, which is the matte color, and the Shimmering Sunset, which is the metal shadow. One of these is $25. For two eyeshadows, that's not bad, and it comes with a lot. Um, first off, the packaging is super cute. I'm a big fan of it. So I'm going to go in with the Private Jet and some Shimmering Sunset one. So first, I watch a lot of tutorials on how people use these because I was really curious. Liquid um, shadows are not, that's not the first thing I would pick up. I do think of the Stila liquid glitter eyeshadows and I do like that one. That one I was very hesitant because I didn't like glitter before but now I'm a huge fan because of Stila. With these, I like to start with the matte shadow. So you just open it up and it has this kind of wand. It's kind of like a almost like a lipstick wand. I hope you're seeing this. <laughs> so with this, a little bit goes a long way. I've worn them twice and so far I like them a lot. Okay. So I already primed my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to take a little bit of it. Scoot in. I'm going to take a little bit and just dot the crease of my eye. Just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way with these. I've noticed that. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. And I'm just going to blend it. Do you see how pigmented that is? That was like three dots and it's super pigmented. Oh my gosh, I'm still sweating. Sorry guys, I, I sweat on my face. So you'll see me reviewing makeup specifically around the lips and around the nose because that's where my makeup ends up messing up a lot because I sweat. I'm trying to keep it real with y'all. I need makeup that's gonna last me all night, all day. Okay, so as you can see, it's super pigmented already. And it was super, whoop, super, super, super easy to blend out, which I'm a huge fan of. Like, anyone can pick this up and just be done. Like, honestly, if I put, like, my finger in glitter, boom, eyelashes, I'd be done for the day. So, that's what it looks like. It dries pretty fast, so Huda does recommend you do one eye at a time. But I'm going to do the other eye really quick. Okay. Look 
Look how easy this is to blend out. Like, mm. I love them a lot. Done. Okay. So now I'm going to use the metal side. And the metal side has a different kind of brush. The hairs on my brush are kind of messed up, but it's like more of a paintbrush type brush, which I don't hate. My hair is all messed up there, but it's still the same concept where a lot, I mean, a little goes a long way. So what I'm going to do is just going to like do the inside corner kind of like a half cut crease, but without the concealer. So I'm just going to put this on. The good thing is I really like this brush. It's pretty precise. So I can just put it on directly with the brush. You can use another makeup brush or your finger if you want. Again, they're pretty blendable. Look at that. Like I have a whole look already on with barely any work. The half cut crease is my go-to, so this makes it extremely easy to just do it. Huge fan, huge fan. Again, I could feel them drying on my eyes already, which isn't a bad thing because when they're wet, if you're trying to get a more precise look and they're wet, it kind of makes a mess. I find that with my Stila um, one. I don't know where my Stila one is, but that one, very pigmented, but it takes a little while to dry, so it, glitter always ends up getting on the top of my eyelid because my eyes are kind of hooded. Not a fan of that, but but as you can see, the look is basically completed. I'm just going to touch up my lower lash line and put on some mascara, and I'll be right back. completed look. Um, I let my hair down so you guys can get the whole vibe. Um, overall, I just added um, some of the same color to my lower lash line. The private jet, I think. I just added that to my lower lash line and added some mascara and curled my eyelashes. I did not put on falsies for you guys because this is more of a natural look, but overall, I'm kind of obsessed. Um, I travel a lot, so this is really good to just put in my makeup bag and it's also like super durable.
it's like super thick glass or plastic or whatever it is and there's a lot of uh, product in this so definitely worth the buy if you're looking to invest in some eyeshadow I think it's super user friendly like you guys saw it blends super easy and a lot a little goes a long way I keep saying that wrong <laughs> yeah oh and I didn't mention but it also blends well with powders I just used both liquid sides of this today but if I blended it with powders over the weekend and it still blends flawlessly yeah super easy to blend and they blend together flawlessly and you can use this with a brush or with your finger I don't like that my brushes get dirty but since it dries you can see the powders coming up but yeah the brushes the brushes get dirty but when it dries it doesn't literally like it doesn't transfer over so that's good because I was really worried about having to wash my brushes a lot more and I'm not about that because washing your brushes is just like a whole art form you can't just wash one brush I feel like you have to wash all of them I'm wearing a velvet shirt and everything sticks to it oh my oh. anyway um, highly recommend this product let me know if you guys if you've tried it if you liked it um, I'd love to see the looks you have. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. It's at underscore beauty by Nick. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't. Please let me know if you have any other video ideas for me to do. I know some people like the beauty stuff, some people don't. Some people oddly enjoyed the eating video, which I like because I also like eating videos. So we'll see if I do more of those. I'm hoping to do one with my friends and have like a dinner with me series. So look out for that. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.